Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat and I'm here to make some ephemera for um, the journal I'm working on for Lori. Um, I want to show you what I did with the little file folder um, from the last time. I added one little piece of paper and just stitched around it there. I just liked something on that green. Oh, there's an extra little piece of paper there. <laughs> so I just put a piece of graph type paper here, stamped it with one of Tim Holtz's um, tickets, and then I did end up adding some of that manila paper just as a little paper pad there. And another thing I was playing with yesterday, um, I have this craft, just regular craft colored cardstock, and I put this through um, my old crimper. I don't know if you guys even remember these. <laughs> this is old school. But um, anyway, I put this um, deli paper, this kind of paper, that's kind of see-through, you know, you can see. I put that through the crimper and just, just to give it a little bit of texture on there, and then I just added, a, this is actually a piece of that envelope that we made the other day when I cut out um, the piece in the middle. That's that, this, uh, if I can get a hold of it. This one, it was just that piece, part of it. Um, and then this is some Tim Holtz fabric that I just, you know, kind of folded a little bit and stitched and then a Tim Holtz paper doll and then one of his part of a ticket there. So that was just a fun little thing. And then this tag I did with all kinds of stuff. This is my old um, paper number two digi. And then this is some of this. DCWV paper, and this one's old. I've had it for ages, and I'm like, I should really use this. It's the Timeless Type Stack, so I don't know if you can still get it, but anyway, that's that's where that part comes from. Um, this is Tim Holtz fabric that I just inked up and kind of squished over there, and Tim Holtz, and this is from my old paper with the blue, and then a Tim Holtz paper doll, and it's just the craft on the back to go inside of that pocket. So just a couple pieces of ephemera, and I'm not sure what I'll do with these yet, but um, I'm just playing around. Kind of helps give me ideas when I get playing around like that. These are Lori's, so we're going to continue to make some things for that today, and um, I just wanted to show you, I'm not done, and this is not done at all, but this is kind of what we're looking at for the, um, the paper that I'm making right now, the digi kit. You can see there's white down here and stuff. Like I said, it's, it's not finished, but it's Torn paper and ferns is what I'm kind of going for, and there will be some butterflies and things like that on there. Oh, it goes this way. But anyway, as you can see, I was having loads of fun tearing paper and, like, making layers and all that. So it's not done, but I did shrink down just a couple of pieces to possibly play with in this today. But what I was thinking, instead of using the deli paper because... Um, it didn't quite hold the folds as well as I wanted it to. I'm going to try to do this with this craft paper and it's a little bit thicker. You can see it's a pretty good uh, substantial sort of craft paper. It's just the kind you get on those rolls that, um, for uh, paint masking. And I'm just going to put it in my crimper. And I don't know, a lot of you may have never seen these. Others may be laughing because this is so old. <laughs> <laughs> if you did scrapbooking in that and um, got into all the different tools and things, then you may have one of these. And if not, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to go because I did crinkle it up. Um, I don't know if you can get them anymore. Like, I haven't looked. I just was looking through my junk and was like, this would be kind of fun to play with. I actually saw something on Pinterest that was all crinkled and thought uh, this would work well, you know, for that. So I went through and I'm going back through. Because I want it to be, I want it to really get those folds in it. So I'm going to go again. Okay, so see, it just kind of almost makes it look like corrugated cardboard in a way. And then because I wrinkled it, it's got like a lot of the tears. And so <clears throat> this is the cover for this journal that's corrugated cardboard. And it's, you can see, it looks a lot like that. So just a little something fun there and then I thought we could make a couple of pockets 
on here. The one thing when you crimp it, it does shrink, so now it's not meeting the sides entirely, but that's fine. I'm going to stitch the sides and then stitch down the middle as well. Last night I was playing around making these um, cards. I got these from work. They're, you know, teaching kids how to count coins and all that. And they were throwing them in the recycling bin because they're using a different math program or I don't know, whatever. So I was like, I'll take those <laughs> if you guys are going to just get rid of them. So I covered them, you know, altered them and just made all different ones. I just sat down. This is a great uh, TV watching project because I just sat with my bag of scraps and I just played with whatever. I didn't worry about, you know, what went to, I mean, goes together, but you know what I'm saying. It wasn't like the same paper stacks or anything like that. It's just all random scraps that I have that I um, covered those with. So anyway, I thought it would be kind of fun to put a couple of those into pockets. So we'll see if we can make this happen. The first thing I need to do is put some ink on that. And that's just a plain sort of olive green paper that I had in my stash. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Stampin' Up, but I don't know it's moss or I don't know, olive, whatever color. They don't have this color anymore, I can almost guarantee. Or, I mean, they might have one that looks similar, but they won't have the name of it that it was because they change all the time, so, but anyway, that's what that is, and then, again, this is just craft paper, and you could use craft cardstock as well, I just kind of like the rolls, because you can use, you know, whatever size, and it's a heck of a lot cheaper that way, so, and this really kind of feels cool once you crinkle it up, and like, now that I've run it through that, I'm liking it. So for now, I will kind of just glue it and then I'll stitch it and figure out, you know, exactly how that's going to work. But for now, we'll glue it just so we can see what we're doing. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I just wanted to play and make some ephemera, so that's what I'm doing. And I want to get this journal going for Lori. I just have, my son, <laughs> he's had a ton of um, math homework, and it's calculus, so, you know, that can be very time consuming, and he also took his whole computer apart and was trying to do, I really don't know what with, so I won't even try to tell you what he was doing, but any, at any rate, oh, hold on. Okay, hi, I'm back, that was fun. Um, I hear crash, splash. And I thought, oh no. And so I go downstairs and my lovely friend at work gave me some flowers today because she's not going to be at work on uh, Monday. So she gave me some flowers, you, you know, to say goodbye and all that kind of thing. And so I had it on the counter in a jar. <laughs> And like a goof, I um, left the plastic on it that was on it. And as you know, my dippy cat loves plastic. And so he got up there and trying to lick the plastic, he knocked the whole jar over, water and all. So yeah, that was, that was fun to clean up. So as you know, if you've watched my channel for a while, I have a Persian cat. And he got attacked not too long ago, and he's all fine now. He's all healed up. But ever since then, ever since he got feeling better, he has just been the biggest pest in the world. And I, like, keep saying he's got, like, cabin fever, which is what I feel like, because he goes outside, but not for very long because it's not as cold and it's been rainy and, you know, whatever. And um, so I just feel like he's really bored and so I got him one of those fish that flops around and wiggles and everything, and it looks like a real fish, and supposedly cats love them. Well, he he's scared of it, <laughs> if that tells you anything about my goofy cat. So, yeah, I got him that, and he's scared of it. So, anyways, 
That was a bust because he's been doing things like that, like he just did, knocking down that jar and just, and even if it's not like trying to lick plastic because he likes to do that, it's always something else, you know what I mean? Like he's just kind of being a pest. And I feel bad. I don't want him to be, you know, bored and stuff, but ugh. anyway. So that was a big mess of water everywhere kind of thing. Okay, so I'm just gluing that down for now. Um, what You saw me kind of put these in there. I want both of them in here, but I'm going to stitch down the middle so that they kind of have their own pockets, but I want to wait till that glue dries because I don't want to run that through my sewing machine until that's dry. But um, I think they will fit fine. So I thought we could decorate these up a little bit. The one cool thing about using the deli paper is that you can see through it so that's kind of cool like that other pocket that I did where I put it now um, you can see the the ladies well sort of the, like her dress and stuff through it but it's really not that big of a deal I guess so um, I like the look of this much better as far as getting that uh, more of a crinkle effect I mean this does it it definitely does it you can see it for sure but um, it's just how, whatever, you know, <laughs> however you want to do it. All right, so I was thinking either on one of those cards, did I get ferns over here too? These ones are even tinier. I think I'll use one of these ferns on that card right there. Because I uh, these ones I just shrunk down the size from the um, full size. So yeah, you can see, and I would use the actual ferns themselves, but they are so seriously fragile, I'd be afraid putting them in and out of that pocket would just get like, yeah, I don't know about that. I think if I put one on like this pocket or something, I would probably Mod Podge it, because they're just super fragile. Like that one that I used the other day, I put between the plastic, so that was fine. But I think with any like opening and closing of book, or in and out of pocket or whatever, they would just disintegrate and fall all apart everywhere. I mean, they're super neat. They look cool. They're just, like, extraordinarily fragile. I don't know if I like that on there now. I think it's going to cover up too much of that. Hmm. I guess I could decoupage one on there. Part of one or something. That would probably work. That would be cooler. Maybe that's what I'll do. Take it up higher and just do part of it and then clip the rest off. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let me find my decoupage. Sorry, that was a, an afterthought thought. Deli paper. Hate the smell of this stuff. But luckily, it probably won't take a whole lot. Okay, I gotta figure out which way I want it. I definitely want that to go all the way up there, but I wanna see the butterflies. Okay, you guys see, sorry, I keep scooting down because I'm not used to this arrangement yet. I know, it's like, how long does it take? Apparently a really long time. Because <laughs> I can't seem to figure it out. So this is matte. Actually, I think this one's glossy. Mod Podge. And it's so stinky. I should have just used my glue. So yeah, these cards, that could totally get addicting, making these cards. They're, um, it's just kind of a fun thing to just sit and do sort of mindlessly. And I advise that a lot if you are struggling with um, collage. Just get a whole bunch of random paper you know, sit in front of the television or wherever and large sheets of paper and just collage. 
like don't sit and analyze every piece that you're putting down like watch your show and just sit there and collage and then you can cut those large sheets of paper into like tags and whatever if you've watched um, Rachel at Roxy Creation lately she just did those long strips of uh, paper by adding book page together you know over and over again and collaging on top of them and then she was cutting them into like tucks and tags and you know all kinds of stuff like that and that is a really good way to start collaging because it's relaxing and um, and you can cut them up later and they look really cool but it, you don't sit there and analyze every single piece that you're putting down. I know I'm kind of almost off again. I just want to get this little this leaf right here because it's not wanting to lay down. I kind of want my strokes going the same direction if possible. So I'm just going to set that over there to dry because uh, it needs to be dry. So this one, I don't really know what I want to do to it. I li I'm liking the, the green on there for sure. But let's see if we've got anything in here that we like. Because there's kind of some stuff that would work. And I may end up decoupaging over this one too. Not necessarily to hold anything down, but... Um, what do they say? Just all kinds of stuff. Um, but so that they'll match because that kind of is going to end up having a little bit of a glossy finish. So, oh, I know what I could put on there. I could put a butterfly on there. That would be a good thing. Let me find a butterfly. Um, sorry, I'm just looking for a butterfly. got all my junk that we were playing with the other day and I know I'm off camera right now I'm sorry I'll get back on there just a second I just want to find my butterfly things oh, that I printed out the other day do I not have them in this pile of course not Well, we could use a Tim Holtz butterfly. That would work. So these are just, you know, Tim Holtz pieces. I know I'm off camera again, but I'll be back right here. <laughs> so there's that kind, but I kind of want the wing spread thing. That one's green. Mm. That one's huge. <laughs> I have a few other things stuck in here as well, but that one's so green, but it's like a good size. I guess we could put a little something else underneath of it. There's this yellow one. Yeah, that one's pretty. That would work. Let's do that one. So this is Tim Holtz Layers uh, Botanical, Botanical Layers. Just trying to get these out of the way, sorry. <sighs> sorry, I could not get a hold of that thing. It saved my life. Does this want to live on here? Nope, it doesn't want to live on there. Um, let's see. Oh, there's my other butterflies that I was looking for. They're just sitting right over there. Kind of like that blue one, too. Well, now I gotta look and see if I like the look of that one or the other one better. I kind of like that pop of blue, it's just, um, you know, different. So I'll try to do this fast, sorry. I should just do that one since it's cut out, but... 
you know when you have something specific in mind it uh, you gotta kinda do what you're thinking and I could also take you know some of those cards and like cover them with that paper too and that digi's not done so you're not gonna find it in my shop yet I will let you know when it's ready it should be ready by definitely by Monday because we're supposed to work on it this weekend it's just been one of those weeks I've been busy he's been busy so and of course the homework thing is uh, way more important for him to be doing obviously He's one of those people that is crazy good at math, and he always has been. I remember his second grade teacher telling me, um, I just have your kid teach math. <laughs> She's like, I put the problems up on the board and then, you know, say who wants to come show the class how to do this. And she's like, he always raises his hand and he just comes up and he's really good at teaching him how to do it. And I'm like, well, that's good. I because I stink at math, so he does not get it for me, that's for sure. But I'm, I'm glad that he's good at it, because, see, I just really like that with the colors in the background and whatever. So I'm sorry if you were rooting for the Tim Holtz one. I like this one better. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm super happy he's good at that. Oh, you know what? This needs a little ink. He's like, what do you mean it's easy? <laughs> I'm like, well, it might be easy for you, but it's not easy for me. gonna try to just move over the top of it lightly and quickly because it is a printout and sometimes the color likes to come off and I don't want the color to come off. I went the opposite direction with these. Okay. Ah, don't bubble. No bubbling. Okay. So now I'll let that one dry. See how those come out in the end. Get this out of the way. Put that in there. I need to go get a little water just a second. Sorry, I just don't want to ruin that paintbrush. And I didn't plan ahead, so that's what happens. Okay. All right, so what do we want to do on here? I don't know if I, I kind of want to burn, and I just closed all that up. I don't know that I want this to be glossy, though, which this will make it glossy. I guess I could just use try glue, but maybe we'll just use some of this instead. I also have like these too. These are kind of cool. They're like the scientific version. So let's tear this one down. I'm really liking um, this. I don't do a whole lot of nature. I like it. I just don't do tons of that. So it's kind of fun to do something different. Than what I normally do. I tend to stick with that whole sort of. I'm not going to be able to fit all that. Um, like Victorian or older, you know, the, what do you call it? Vintage style, that's what it is. 
but I like this. Use that one because it's smaller. a few of those words that are on that piece of paper at the top. Let's see, I think it would be fun to put a staple in that. And I don't have a Tim Holtz tiny attacher. I asked for one for Christmas, but I cannot be picky because I got lots of other really cool stuff, so I'm not complaining at all. I just, I don't have one of those. But I want to see if I want something else with it, so... This is from my old paper digi. This is old paper too. Kind of like this. Um, this. This was like, um, you know, the marbling or whatever on the inside of a book. That's what that was. And I don't know what's what got all over it, or if that was part of the design or what, because it's just an old one that I found. I just like the idea of adding some color here. Oh, and I have got so many new people saying that they um, are new to junk journaling. Not just new to my channel, but new to junk journaling. And so I'm super ecstatic about that. I think I've mentioned that I'm ecstatic about that. But um, lots of people have been asking me about my glue. So I use Art Glitter Glue. That's the one with the metal tip and it comes with that when you buy it you know I just get it on Amazon but I think wherever you get it it comes with that metal tip and then I use scotch create for my glue stick my favorite I've tried every one of them and I am not crazy about um, you who or any of the other ones this is my favorite and then I use tacky glue and that's pretty much all I use and obviously as you've seen I forget to use the tape <laughs> double-sided tape <laughs> two people told me um, wouldn't it have been easier to use double-sided tape on the when I did the envelope with the um, acetate it's like yeah it probably would have been a whole lot easier <laughs> unfortunately you weren't here to help remind me to do that I just am bad I forget that I even have that and I just forget to use it so because I'm a goofball and I'm dingy so I could say a lot of things about myself but one of the biggest ones is that I'm dingy. So yeah, sorry about that. I wish I could hear you guys sometimes because I was just seeing if there were any cool words that I wanted to see here, but I don't see any. So I'm just gonna use randomness. Um, but I don't know, I'm trying to just See if there's anything. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just a dingbat. I don't know what else I can say. And I'm sure I'll do lo loads of things that will make you just like, why'd she do that that way? This is probably a good question. Who knows? But you know, maybe at least I'm entertaining. <laughs> I'll give you a good laugh. <laughs> I just never used a ton of that tape, so I think I just never got in the habit of that. Even when I did um, scrapbooking, the tape thing just was has never been my favorite. I did use it on pictures, but when I wasn't putting pictures in, I pretty much always have used something else. I just don't love it. I don't know why. I'm kind of, I'm wanting something else there, and I don't know what. Maybe I, I need to stamp one of Tim Holtz tickets again. I like these numbers on these. They're just fun to use all by themselves. I'm sorry, I got that.
itchy, scratchy nose again. I think that um, decoupage bugs me. Just want to make sure I was on camera there. Even though these are more travel related than like scientific or anything, I just like the way they look with all this kind of stuff. And I need to put this away because the other day I left it out and I stuck my um, bobber in there in the black like a dingling. Why do that? So yeah, I want to say welcome to everybody too. It's just been so amazing to hear from everybody and all the, I mean, all the people that have been with me for a while, they are always awesome about commenting and I totally appreciate everybody. It's not, I'm not saying I don't appreciate the people that have been with me for a while. I'm just saying, um, it's just been fun to see all the new people that have become interested in junk journaling and all of it. So yay. I'm super happy about that. Oopsie. So this is a pretty good, uh, you know, beginner type project. I don't think this is too, too hard. Got a glop of glue right there. I can just kind of <laughs> use up. I was going to use the tacky, but my goodness, I'm just making a mess now. I want it up here more. I'm just going to squish it because that's what I do. Alright, and then I'm going to close this because it's got big glops of glue. And then I can use that to make a tag, or um, you can even use it as a pocket. So yeah, there's lots of stuff I can do with that. And I even saved the old little bits of paper, because like on that um, one, this one I just put that little number right there. Just fun. All right, I'm going to go stitch uh, this up so that you can see what it's going to look like, and then I'll be right back. Okay, hi, I'm back. So I stitched around that and um, let's see, put the two cards in. I hope they don't they don't get stuck. Not they're dry. And I trimmed them so you can or trimmed this one so you can see. And then the backs are just um, so you can write on them. And then uh, I found this little ticket that's a Tracy Fox faux femra. And then this is um, a postage stamp that Denise gave me. And it says, I think it's Vatican Post, Post Vatican. It doesn't really go, but I like the color of it and the size with the ticket. So I'm not really worried about the subject. I like the color for sure. And that uh, going that direction and that size just worked well with this ticket. So. That's kind of where we're at. It just needed something on this side. It felt um, like something was missing. So, and stamp it like I always do but I'm going to try to do it a lighter than I have before I'm stamping it off once just to get you know some of the ink off at least there we go just a little bit instead of covering it all up like I did with my kiwi stamp. 
All right, so that's what I've got going on today. I hope you guys like this. Um, the corrugation thing's fun, but you could uh, do something very similar just by crinkling it, you know, and maybe inking it a little bit. You could fold back and forth if you, you know, I mean, it wouldn't take that long to fold something this size back and forth a few times if you don't have a corrugator and you want that look, but um, it's not necessary. The crinkling would probably give you a very similar effect to that. So, yeah, so that's that. I hope you guys have an awesome evening, and um, I will definitely be working on that digi this weekend. So um, if you like my channel, please like and subscribe, and we'll chat again soon. Bye-bye now.